Amen. Y'all ready to praise the Lord this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. How many knows that name, that only that name, that all men must be saved? Amen. You know that name this morning? Amen. What's his name? Jesus. Amen. His name is what? Jesus. You think we ought to bless his name this morning? Yes. For who he is and what he has done? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
the name, the name of Jesus. What an ever blessed and wonderful name. Yeah. 
Praise him through that. You missed the best time today to praise him. Amen. Because he's worthy of praise all day long, all night long, in the morning, in the evening. Amen. Amen. Praise is commonly in the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, yeah. 
I think that the Lord wants to put us in remembrance, some of us in remembrance Hallelujah. of who he is. You know, the word says, put yourself in remembrance. Yes. Hallelujah. Sometimes we need to remind ourselves who, who he is and who we are in him, amen, who he's made us to be. Praise God. Overcomers in this world. You know, sometimes it don't feel like it, but you guess what? That's your feelings. Amen. It ain't got nothing to do with your feelings. It's got to do with every word that professed out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. He is your protection. He is your provider. He is your very life today. Hallelujah. We're supposed to put ourselves in remembrance. If he's ever brought you out of a place, amen. amen. If he saved your soul, he brought you out of a place. Amen. Hallelujah. And you have that word dwelling on the inside of you. Amen. He's pulled many of us out of a drowning place. Amen. A horrible pit. Hallelujah. Guess what? He hasn't changed. Amen. Praise God. Some of you might be facing something today, but don't, don't forget he pulled you out before. He'll do it again. Amen. Thing you 
child And I'll give you so much more If I walk on the water I calm the raging sea I spoke to the waves And it hushed and it gave me peace Run to your rescue this morning. Hallelujah. You know, I think that's one of the best tricks of the enemy. We can, he can get us thinking that God don't love us. and He's mad at us for some reason. Amen. Or he's shining us, but praise God. It's all about his love for you. Amen. Amen. He don't love you because you was lovely. Amen. Hallelujah. He loved you because he's loved. Oh, no. 
Just give the Lord a hand clap right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you this morning and we worship you, God. We magnify you. We lift you up, God, in Jesus' name. We just lift holy hands right now and praise you, Lord. Lord, you're worthy to be praised. You're our God. You're our King. You're our Master. We come in this house to worship you this morning and to praise you, God. God, have your way. Holy Ghost, have your way. Continue to have your way. Touch hearts and lives in here of this morning like never before, God. Lord, that peace and joy that passes all understanding that only come from you, Lord, let it flow in this place. Let your healing virtue flow in this place of this morning. Have your way. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. Hallelujah for authority and power that you've given us, God. We claim in it this morning. You said greater works we do because you have gone to the Father and set at the right hand, interceding for each and every one of us this morning. Lord Jesus, intercede. You know every need in here tonight, uh, this morning. You know every need, every concern. You know every infirmity, every sickness, God. You know about it, God, in Jesus' name. I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will come in and just move on these situations, God, like never before. Like never before, God. God, just uh, touch uh, the needy in here this morning spiritually, God, in Jesus' name. Touch them, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, touch them, God, in the name of Jesus. I ask that, oh, Father, I ask, God, that you move. God, we're asking uh, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, we worship you this morning. We magnify you, God. God, you said in your word, by your stripes, we're healed. We're claiming that this morning. We're claiming your word. We come in this house this morning to claim your holy word and to move. As you move us, God, we want to move, God, in Jesus' name. I tell you right now, God, we want to be in one accord this morning. We want, uh, we come in here expecting, Lord. Lord, if people come in here with sicknesses, uh, they need help. They need touch from you. People come in here with spiritual needs. Uh, they need help from you, God. You know about the emotional needs, God, in Jesus' name. They come in here needing rest, God, in Jesus' name. I pray you're going to give them rest in here. You're going to move on them, God. You're moving on them right now, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, move, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the authority of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Move, God. Move in a mighty way, God. God, your word is truth. The word's fixing to come out, God. And God is going to accomplish what you want it to, God. It's going to move. It's going to strengthen. It's going to encourage. It's going to exalt in the name of Jesus. It's going to happen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. God, oh, I feel your presence right now. Your awesome power right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, that power's here right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We worship you. We magnify you right now. We're lifting you up, God, in Jesus' name. We're lifting you up, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we worship you this morning. We magnify you, God, in Jesus' name. Oh, we're calling on the one. We're calling on the one that nothing's impossible with. Nothing's impossible with our King. Hallelujah. 
I expect uh, mighty miracles this morning because of our God. He's a miracle God, hallelujah, for those who love him and follow him and trust him, hallelujah. Just cry out to him right now, hallelujah. Prepare right now, prepare right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, we worship you, we magnify you. We honor you. I want Jeanette to come with me. I, I, I want Marquita to come with me. Hallelujah. I want Sarah to come with me. Uh, we got a, a, a task we need to uh, do uh, uh, this morning. Continue to worship God. Worship God. Worship him. Praise him. Magnify him. Y'all come with me. Hallelujah. We're going to pray right now. We got a brother that has a need right now. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. We worship God. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. We magnify you, God. We honor you, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak total healing on my brother right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak healing on my brother right now. Right now, move on him, God. Move on him, God. You know the situation. We prayed about it already. You know what's the matter, God, in Jesus' name. Correct it, God, in Jesus' name. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, our Lord, our Savior. Yes, God, you're on the scene right now, God. We're claiming it, God. You said Jesus intercede for my brother right now. Oh, Lord, I'm expecting this to be uh, healed totally, God, in Jesus' name. Uh, no complications whatsoever in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, no complications. Uh, God is uh, being healed right now in Jesus' name. Uh, Lord, you say to lay hands. You said the uh, prayers of a righteous uh, man or woman availeth much. We're claiming it, God. Uh, we're doing what your word says, God. We're calling the elders of the church, and we're obeying you, God, in Jesus' name. Somebody bring me the oil right now, please. Please, somebody bring me the oil. Let's just everybody pray. Everybody pray. Keep your uh, keep uh, your attention and praying to God. I don't want no moving around. I need. We need to focus here. There's people in here need some help, and God's moving. He's helping. He's uh, uh, touching His children. Hallelujah. We're doing uh, what God's called us to do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, touch my brother right now, God. In the name of Jesus, come upon my brother, God, with anointing power right now. And heal this, God. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. We obeyed your word. We done what you said. We laid hands on the sick. We anointed with oil. You said, command you. Lord, I'm commanding in reverence, all reverence to you, that you heal him, my brother. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. I want you to continue to be in the, in the uh, mode of prayer right now. God's moving right now. I want everybody to stay right in that mode right now, praising God and worshiping God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Jesus is a healer. He's a deliverer. He's the one who sets free. The captive's free. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now we're going to just uh, talk about a little bit uh, about what God did Wednesday night. We're going to give a praise report, and then we're going to hope I need to talk to you. We're going to give a praise report right here, and then we're going to go right back into what God wants. Amen. Uh, would you explain what happened? Um, I had to go and um, have a root canal done. And it's funny because I take really, really good care of my teeth so that I don't ever have to have any work done because I'm terrified and petrified of having stuff done to my mouth. And so whenever the dentist told me, you got to go have a root canal, I was like, oh, are you sure? I think you're mistaken. But, you know, of course, they're dentists. They know what they're talking about. So I have to go to get the root canal. And, of course, the root canal is very expensive, too. So, you know, we didn't really want to have to pay that either. So I had been, my palms had been sweating all day. I'd been getting so nervous, so anxious. And I prayed a couple of days ahead of time, but I really got to pray in the day of. And I said, Lord, I said, I know that you can make it where she just didn't know what she was talking about. She looked at that x-ray wrong. I know you can do it. So if you want to do it, please do it. And I got in there. They took the x-ray. He said, let me get another x-ray. I need to compare it. So he got two x-rays. And then he said, all right, I got to take a test. Let's take a cold test. I said, okay, whatever you got to do. And so he took the cold test. He came back in the room and he said, your tooth is just fine. He said, you don't even have to have a root canal. There's nothing wrong with your tooth. I said, well, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Uh, I want, uh, uh, there's two more people that God has uh, revealed to me. I, I, I want to pray for before I get into the message. I want this message to come forward this morning. It's a powerful message that God wants uh, his people to hear. But the folks that's with me praying just now, and if you feel faith on you. I want you to come with me. I want to pray right now. I want to pray uh, for my brother Richard, and uh, I want to pray for uh, uh, one more. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody just continue to stay and focus on the Lord, on God. Hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, heta boshutara mahala kabara shundai kate de ulala bahara kabara shundai. In the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother right now. I speak uh, uh, to that uh, infirmity. I command it to leave his body. Uh, they'll find uh, no proof of it being there. It's going to be gone. Going to get a good report, uh, just like our sister Hope just got right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, I rebuke it. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, I command it to go from him. Right now, in Jesus. In Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you. Sickness, I rebuke from his body right now in Jesus' name. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You said by your stripes. We claim in it this morning in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. I want to pray for one more share, and I want to pray for Vernon. If you sit right there and stand in for him, hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, our sister's sitting in for her husband right now. God, in Jesus' name, I, I pray for my brother Vernon and that back. God, in Jesus' name, oh, Lord, I pray they won't have to do surgery. I pray the pain's going to go away. The healing's going to be there in the name of Jesus. I pray you touch him right now. God, he loves you. And God, I pray you just show mercy on him and heal that back in the name of Jesus. I lift him up to you, God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, right now that you heal him. You touch those muscles. You touch those uh, uh, bones and vertebrae uh, and that sonic nerve. Uh, in the name of Jesus, swell and go in the name of Jesus. I command it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, touch my sister right now too. That jaw healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray you touch her body right now, God. In Jesus' name, that you heal her in the holy name of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, our Lord, that's the authority. That's who we're praying in, and we're doing it uh, with authority. We have that authority. I rebuke you, Satan. I command your demons of infirmity to leave. In Jesus' name, leave her. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray for Kenny. God, in the name of Jesus, touch him, God. I lift him up to you, God, in Jesus' name. Touch his heart, God. Touch nail, God, in that nursing home, in the name of Jesus. Give him strength during this time in his life, God, in Jesus' name. I lift him up to you, God. I pray in the name of Jesus, you just touch him right now, Lord, and comfort him, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray you touch nail, take all the pain away, God, in Jesus' name, in that nursing home, God, in Jesus' name. Give Kenny strength that he needs, God, to help uh, with his wife, God. Give it to him, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We lift him up to you, Father, in the holy name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, our Lord, and we thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Praise God. Continue to focus on the Lord. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to get in the message right now in just a minute. Let's go back. Anybody got anything on their heart? We're fixing to get into the word. Okay, let's get let's pay for Patty right now. Huh? Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Focus. Keep focusing on God. He's the healer. He's the one we doing this. He's the one with the anointing power. He's the one who gave us uh, the ability on this uh, kingdom here. See, we in the other kingdom, uh, we're not of this kingdom of this world, but we have power and we have authority. Hallelujah, praise God, because our Lord paid the price for you and I to have it uh, by the innocent blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. That's why we do this. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Touch your mind, God. You do not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And I claim it on it right now. In the name of Jesus, I claim it on it right now. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, your word says, we're claiming it right now. You gave us the power, God. You gave us the power, God. In Jesus' name. The pain go right now, I command it. Oh, that pain was there, but it's going. In the name of Jesus, it's already gone. It's already gone by the stripes. You were healed. In Jesus' name. Pain go from her right now. Infirmity go from her right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, la la maha. I want, to, I want to read this scripture right here to you. And of course, when you do this, you do it in reverence of God. Let's read it. Thus saith the Lord, who said this? God said it. Thus saith the Lord, Holy One of Israel and his maker, ask of me things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. What does it say? What does it say? 
It's hard to say that, ain't it? It's hard to say that being a submissive Christian to God, but the Word of God says, He's telling us, it said, Command ye me, I command ye uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, for these we lay their hands on that people will be healed in the name of Jesus. In all reverence to our God, I submit and surrender to him, but I command it in Jesus' name. God said, do it. That's what the word says. I was a little shaky when I first started doing some of that, and I told the Lord, Lord, I do that in reverence to you. I'm total submissive to you. But what does it say? It says, the work of my hands, command ye me. That's heavy, ain't it? Uh Uh-huh. But God said greater works would we do because he goes uh, uh, to uh, heaven with the Father. Amen. God gave us greater uh, works uh, we're going to do because of that. I want to get into the word just a little bit right here. Uh, Right now is the time. And I want to show you who you are. And I'm going to tell you something. I've been going through some of this here lately, and I've been forceful and demanding. I remember here about uh, a month or two ago, I hurt my back again, and and I said, Lord, I've got too much going on. I I got too much work going on at the church and around, and people are depending on us, and God, I can't uh, have this. I can't accept this in Jesus' name. I came in that altar uh, right back there in the sanctuary by myself, and I cried out to God. I said, God, it's got to go in Jesus' name because, and I command it because your word says it and I believe it and I ask you, honor your word and I took it in violence, praise God, away and I uh, got what God gave me. I got healed, amen? Well, the devil tried to come back about a month, about uh, two weeks ago or so and I, I had been in the hospital with my mother sitting for about six or seven days, just kind of sitting, you know would not moving in muscles, so I went over. We, we had to go over there and take care of do something with Jack and had to walk up a hill. Hurt my back. I mean, I couldn't hardly walk that day. It hurt. It just happens sometimes after my accident or something, but I'm healed in Jesus' name because he said he healed my wounds. Now, listen to this. I cried out to God. I got angry. Me and Becky had to go take care of a plant and cut the grass. That's uh, some of the things we do, and I got out there, and I was on that uh, lawnmower. Couldn't hardly walk. And I'm not on the lawnmower I was pushing. And I started crying out to God. God, your word says this. Your word says this. You're going to honor your word, God. I, I'm going to follow you, but I need you to honor your word. Amen. And guess what? I kept crying out to the Lord. And what could have been two or three months of pain and agony left in about three days. I, I, I know there's probably some more stuff in here, but I want to tell you right now, I want to get in God's Word. God changed my message about yesterday, I guess it was. I had a message prepared. You'll hear that message, by the way, Wednesday night. So if you want to hear something a, a little different uh, that you ain't looked at in a while and you might be involved in some of it, sureties, uh, you come in here Wednesday night and be prepared to listen to that message. But God changed my message for this morning because he wanted something different and he wants you to know who you are is a child of the king. We have power and we have authority over Satan. And guess what? You got to take it. They said the violent take it by force, right? You got to take it. You can't even sit there and say it's okay. Ain't nothing going to happen to you. Pray. I'm guilty. I need to pray more. But sometimes God's uh, anointing me. The anointing of prayer gets on me. And when it does, boy, God starts moving. Amen. I'm telling you right here. Let's look right here uh, at this thing right here. Power over Satan. Uh, Are you a Christian? Do you have God in your heart this morning? If you're a Christian and you got God in your heart this morning, you have power and you have authority over the devil. Everybody get a hold of that? Now, the devil don't want you to know that. Now, I'll tell you right now, when you get baptized in the Holy Ghost, man, you got some power. The devil is afraid of you. The devil's going to run from you. The devil's going to flee from you when you start speaking that word the way our Lord spoke it in uh, uh, the wilderness when he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, he said uh, he beat the devil. See, he, had, uh, he left his deity up there. He had to rely on the Holy Ghost the way we do. And uh, he started speaking and crying out. Uh, he said, uh, the devil, get thee behind thee. It is written in the word. And the word is truth. We got to stand on the word. <clears throat> I'm here to tell you, we got to start standing on it. I'm going to tell you why. 
I've been reading in Revelations where all kind of demons is going to be loosed out of the Euphrates River and, and uh, all kind of stuff uh, fixing to happen here because the end times is right upon us. We're in the latter days. But here I want to tell you, uh, that's, uh, some of that stuff's fixing to happen. But I truly believe the devil's uh, get, doing everything he can do in releasing. I feel like there's more of his demons out there right now that we're fighting uh, against now than we ever have before. Why? Because it's the last days. God's fixing to come back. I believe it in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. But I'm here to tell you right now, I don't care the biggest demon that uh, the devil's got, even the devil himself uh, can't come against my Lord. Amen. And guess what? My Lord is in my heart and in your heart if you've got him in your heart. Amen. So you got to hold on to what God's giving you. I'm telling you, uh, uh, there's some there's some things going on and you're going to have to be forceful and you're going to have to grab a hold of God's work. Guess what? The preacher may not be there to pray for you or your friend or your mother or your daddy, whoever's been praying for you. You're going to have to learn to pray yourself. The doctors, you might not get to be able to get to the doctors and what's going on, but you better get a hold of it because you're going to need it. And if you get a hold of it, guess what? It'll happen. God will move on your behalf. Amen? Let's look right here a little bit uh, in Luke 10, 17 and 20, it says, And the 70 returned again with joy, and saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Now, I want to tell you something. God wasn't just talking about those 70 right there. He's talking to every man and a woman, a child. It's been saved and has the Lord in their heart and is living for the Lord. Now, there's accountability and responsibility there. You've got to be living for him and doing your part or don't expect nothing to happen. You got to hold on to God and obey his uh, commandments and those things. But look here. And the 70 returned and, uh, and saying, Lord, even the devils are subject uh, unto thy name. And you know, and the, and, uh, the Lord said, don't rejoice at that. He talks about, hey, rejoice because your name is written in heaven. But you know, it's a, it's a like a man or a woman to kind of boast a little bit like uh, them devils is out of here, you know, on kind of us uh, because you gave us the authority. Who gave the 70 authority? The Lord did. They, that's how they got it. Now let's go and look. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. You see, Satan's already been defeated uh, before Adam. Uh, Satan uh, uh, fell. And then all of a sudden, Adam come back and the devil got a little toehold back in again. But God said, hey, I got another plan. My son, Jesus, uh, is going to take uh, 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 the responsibility to get the world back through his innocent blood. And guess what? It's a done deal. Look at here. <coughs> Excuse me. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents uh, and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, it's talking about the spiritual world. It's talking about Satan. It's talking about demons uh, and uh, all of those evil things that tries to come against you. Do you know that? But now, every time something happens to you, it ain't cause of demons and devils. Sometimes you do it yourself, you know. Sometimes you got to, uh, you do something you shouldn't do and you know you shouldn't do it, but you do it yourself and you get in trouble, don't you? Sometimes that happens. You can't blame it on all the devils and demons and stuff here, you know. Sometimes you might be a, have a candle a little bit. Me might get in the way. But I want to tell you, you need to get a hold of this message this morning and you need to stand on There's going to be a scripture for some of you. You need to get a hold. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your name is what? Your name is written in heaven, praise God. I'll tell you right now, listen, folks, I don't need this uh, help uh, and, uh, and power and anointing uh, that we're looking at here this uh, uh, morning. Uh, uh, I don't need it when I get in heaven. Uh-uh. When I get in heaven, my Lord's be right there and it's all a done deal and the devil's going to be taken care of. He's going to be put in a pit uh, for a thousand years and then the next time he's going to be put down there for eternity I mean, we're talking about some heavy stuff here. It's going to be done. But I need it down here. How many need it down here? I need it down here. And I'm going to get what's mine, hallelujah, because I am the child of the king. He owns all of it. Now, let's look a little bit further right here and uh, see what God has for us. <clears throat> In Isaiah 40, 29, boy, I love these scriptures coming up right here. 
uh, 49, I mean, uh, Isaiah 41, 10, boy, that's, that's one of my scriptures. Uh, God said he'd uphold me with right hand uh, of his righteousness. Uh, he would be with me. I'll never forget that when he spoke to me, just like I'm speaking right now. He spoke to me, and I obeyed him because of uh, what he told me to do. <coughs> Let's look right here. It says right here, he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increased strength. Now, you think you ain't got no might strength? Hey, if you want it, you call on God. The Bible says those who endure to the end. Look what the word says. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. That's what God said, and we got to hold on to that, y'all. I'm telling you, it's time to quit playing church. You better get serious about it. You better get in on it, or you're going to be out of it. And I'll tell you right now, I'm showing you what you are as a Christian. You know, the first thing happened to me when I got baptized in the Holy Ghost, I, I learned some scriptures. Some scriptures came to me, and God helped me to memorize them. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, whatsoever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever I loose on earth will be loose in heaven. I have to use that a lot of times. I have to loose a lot of worn angels to come help me in the situation I'm in. And I have to bind the devil that's coming at me. I say, I bind them in the name of Jesus. That's what the word says. Write that scripture down. Remember that scripture, Matthew 18, 18. That's some of your power and authority. <clears throat> you need to refresh yourself and remember uh, these scriptures I'm uh, talking about here this morning. Look here, let's do it again. Y'all read this with me. But they... That wait upon the Lord, I can't hear you, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. That's a powerful, powerful message. We need to hold on to that in our walk with the Lord. I'm here to tell you. Let's go a little bit further right here. This is, <coughs> excuse me, this next one coming. Boy, I could preach on this next one by itself because it means a lot to me one time I was a, I was a preacher Richard Nim come down and played in my church I, Ray Ray preached in my church first time he ever preached I thought he'd been preaching for 10 years <coughs> Ray the drummer now let me tell you I, I pulled up I was a preacher down there in Greenwood and, and I pulled up to this and I started a church in a in a house well I I started going to this man being shot with a 357 Magnum in the head, and he was a he was a paraplegic. He was uh, paralyzed from the neck down. And his mama asked me, would I come and minister to him by his bedside? So I started going. I started going ever uh, about every week. I would go down there and give him some scriptures and pray. I wasn't. I didn't have a church going on, but I had just moved to Greenwood, and I knew God was going to use me uh, for some stuff, and so. I started going down there to that house and uh, I would go down there and I would minister to him laying on his bed. His mama was the caregiver. She took care of him totally. Had to put him in a sling, hydraulic, and jack it up and take it and put it in the bathtub to get a bath. Awful, awful. I started ministering the word of God to him. Word got out. People started coming. People started coming. And then we got to playing music in there and praising the Lord and worshiping God. And then all of a sudden, people couldn't get in the house. There was cars parked around in the neighborhood everywhere, and people couldn't get in. And God spoke to me and said, go get a building. That's what God told me. Go get a bill. Now, you know, I'm working my full-time job down there too, you know. And I'm saying, okay, Lord, I'll go get a bill, but I can't afford it, but I'll go look. And so I won't never forget. I pulled up to this building. I've been looking and praying, you know. What can we do, Lord? And I pulled up to this old beer joint that closed. And the Lord spoke to me and told me, he said, I want you to get this beer joint. That's what he told me, what he used to. And Ray preached in there the first time, Richard, said he used to go in that same place and drink beer. I'm talking about our friend that's over here set, uh, set free. But uh, God spoke to him about that beer joint and said, I want you to rent this beer joint. And uh, so I'm sitting out there in my car looking at it, and I'm going to call the guy up that owns it. He was about half mafia, I think. 
And uh, he told me all this stuff. said, I'll rent it to you for X number of dollars. And he said, uh, I'll do this. And he said, if you'll give me a big voucher and stated that I gave X number of dollars, he said, I'll let you have it for this. And I said, no, I can't do that. I got to do what's honest before my God. This is what I'll do if you can take it or leave it. So he got all of a sudden got a hold of that and said, listen, I'm going to let you have it for X number of dollars here. I'm going to put you some red carpet in there. Oh, he, oh, he said, what color carpet? You know, I said, red. And so we went in there, and, and some of the folks that's at the house, and they were some carpenters, and we made a altar little thing in there and everything, you know. We started having church. But before that happened, this is what happened. I'm sitting out in the front of that beer joint to, in my car. You know, I'm kind of don't want to take that step and say, okay, I'll rent it. I don't have the money, but I'll rent it. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> It's an act of faith, but God told me this right here in Isaiah 41.10. This is what he told me. He said, fear thou not. I use that scripture today because I know God told me that, and I know it's beyond a shadow of a doubt. Praise God. He, he, was with, he said, fear thou not. I am with thee. Man, when he told me he's with me, it's settled. God is with you too. It's a done deal. If God said he's with you, he's with you. Settle it. He said, I'm with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee uh, with the right hand of my righteousness. Now, when God told me that, boy, I was out there in that car, and I said, mm-hmm. and I knew beyond a shadow of doubt, hey, listen to this, just like I'm talking to you, God's speaking to me, I, I, don't, I don't even have my Bible. Well, I did have my Bible. He spoke to me in that verse, told me to go to that scripture, and I looked at it, and he, it was like he spoke to me just like I'm speaking to y'all. I mean, that's how vocal it was. I knew it was him, and it ain't left my spirit. It's still there. It said right there, fear thou not, I am with thee. If God said he's with you, he's with you. He was with Moses, wasn't he? If Moses couldn't have done what he, could, what he did do if he hadn't have been with him, he said he would do it. Did God say he would do it? Did God say to command him? Hallelujah. We got to stand on God's word. It says right here, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. He will do it for you. But you got to get a hold of it. Let's go a little bit further right here and look in Luke 24. There's a little something to it. Look at here. You got to stay in until the end. And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you, but tarry you in the city of Jerusalem and you'll be endued with power from on high. Did God say he'll give you power? The power's there, y'all. You just got to grab a hold of it and take a hold of it. Amen. If you're a child of the king and you're on fire for the Lord and you uh, baptized in the Holy Ghost, you got this power. I'm telling you, it's there. I, I, I know. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's go a little bit further right here. It says, until ye be endued with power from on high. Listen to this. I, I used to, you know, I get going fast in my words and stuff like that. Sister Pat. How many remember Sister Pat? Jeanette's sister. I'd get on fire and I'd get to teaching Sunday school and I said, you be endued with power or you endure to the end. I'd get the two words confused. Pat, get me straightened out. Brother Rick, you said endued for endure. Okay, I'm sorry. And she brought that to my attention. And she's right. I was doing that. I finally got a hold of it. You be endued with power if you endure to the end, right? Ha ha! A little something to that, ain't there? <laughs> Let's go a little bit further right here. I like that scripture. Uh, be you endued with power from on high. The power's coming from where? It ain't nothing we do. What are we doing in here this morning? We because of the power from on high, amen. That's why we're in here this morning. We can't do nothing without him. We're nothing without him, but with him, look out, world, we everything. Oh, hello. look at here. What's this scripture right here? Write it down. Whatsoever you bind on earth, be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth, be loosed in heaven. You need to hold on to that. There's time that you need things going on. It's, it's at your house. And you need to grab a hold of that uh, scripture. And you need to cry it out. Get it on your lawnmower and shout it. Let the neighbors know it. Uh, or just uh, get in your bathroom or your house and shout it. God, your word said, whatsoever I bind in heaven uh, will be bound on this earth. And whatsoever I loose uh, on this earth will be loosed in heaven. Lord, loose them war and angels come down here and fight these demons that's trying to attack me and my home and my family. I apply the blood of Jesus over this situation. You got power and you got authority. You got to do it, amen? Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. 
And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. You need to get in there and study about loosening and binding. Sister Jeanette and Roy, they loosed a, no, they bound some cows one time over at a house. Uh, they, they was building a house over there. God was, uh, they'd been working two or three jobs, saving their money, and they started building that house. Uh, man, and they got out there, and them cows kept messing with Roe and Jeanette when they was out there with chainsaws and, and trying to get the land ready and everything. And Jeanette got said, I bind them cows in the name of Jesus from coming up here. And uh, Roe's uncle come over there one day about a week two and said, listen, my cows are gone. They're down there in the swamp, and they won't come out. And Jeanette said, oh, yeah, I forgot I bound him up down. I'll lose him in Jesus' name. Well, the cows come back, didn't they, Jeanette? Hey, that really happened. One time when I first moved over there uh, it, it, uh, with Becky over there, I had a garden out there, and we had groundhogs in this big old woods behind the house. Groundhogs kept coming up. And the neighbors come down, and they said, listen, you can't have a garden. Let them groundhogs eat everything you've got of them. Don't even tell you about that. And uh, so I said, yeah, Ken. I said, I don't mind planting a little extra and feeding the groundhog or whatever, you know. So I planted the corn. I planted everything. And uh, the, the groundhogs uh, come up there and started messing around. One day, me and Becky's in the backyard and said, in the name of Jesus, I bind you from coming to this garden right now. Did you know for about two or three years, them, them groundhogs would come out and eat around that garden, but they wouldn't go in that garden. And there was corn, peas, all kind of stuff in there, you know. Them groundhogs would not go in there. But let me tell you what happened. Them groundhogs was bound. Donnie Deal called a groundhog at his house, gave it to me, and I took it over and threw it out. Well, that groundhog wouldn't bound. That joker kept coming up there and eating in my garden. That really happened. I'm dead serious. I'm telling you the truth. <coughs> Praise God. But it really works, y'all. And you got situation going on in your life, you need to cry out to God and ask him, God, help me in this situation. Or if the devil's coming at you and your family, you got to stop it. If he's coming at your finances, if he's coming at your health, if he's coming at your spiritual walk with God, you got to stop it. Bind it in the name of Jesus. And loose them ministering angels. You see all them inner angels that God's got. <clears throat> Praise God, he's got all them angels. They're sitting up there, man, I would like to have something to do. And when you call them out, they got to do it. Because you call them out in authority of who? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God, I like it. I like it. I like it. God changes your message sometimes, but you, you know what I mean. And Nathan, look at here. And Jeanette, let's go a little bit further right and see what this other one is. Oh, this Acts 1, this is baptized in the Holy Ghost. If you want to be have power, the Word of God says right here, you'll have the power. You'll get it. I know I, I got it, and uh, you can have it if you ain't got it, or uh, you just got to uh, cry out to the Lord. Look at here. But you shall receive what? Power. But you shall receive what? Power, but you shall receive what? Power. You got power to do the work that God's called you to do. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall be witness of me in Jerusalem and Judea, Samaria, and unto the utmost part of the earth. That's who you are. Let's go a little bit further right here. Oh, I like this one right here. I wasn't going to put it in there, but I like it, Lou, here. And when he had called unto his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. God has given you that power. God has given you uh, power to cast out demons. God has given you power to lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. That's what kind of power you got. You got to use it, but you do your part and you grow with the Lord and you got this power. <clears throat> Amen. I, I, my prayers, everybody in here has got Jesus in their heart will have this power and can go around the community and everywhere. I'm looking for the time we can go to the hospital and walk through that hospital and lay hands on those people and every one of them be healed. And the law is going to stand down at the hospital next time and say, you Christians can't come in here, you're costing us money. Uh-huh, yeah. It's coming in Jesus' name. He's coming. But until he gets here, you got to do your part down here. Amen. You got to cry out to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Praise God. Look at it again. It says right here, when you have called unto him, uh, he called unto him his 12 disciples. Well, he didn't just give that to the 12. You got it too. It's yours too. You see, it comes on down, that authority. He gave us authority. You can read about it in his word. It says right here, he gave the power against the unclean spirits to cast them out. 
And I'll tell you right now, you can cast them out in the name of Jesus, not in no other name. You try to cast them out in some other name, you're going to get tore up and beat up. But you can cast them out in Jesus' name. Now, I don't go around looking for them, but I shall cast them out in Jesus' name. Amen? I don't tolerate them jokers because of he who is in me and he who is in you, if you got him. Amen? And it says right here, heal all matter of sickness. I've seen all kinds of diseases and sicknesses healed. I'll tell you right now. One time I was in that church in Greenwood, and uh, it was a little congregation. It went from maybe five or six people to 40 people, and it would go up and down, up and down. And I remember this lady come in there, and uh, she had uh, uh, this uh, growth, a growth in her stomach about the size of a grapefruit. And she come in there and said, I want y'all to pray for me. I don't want to have an operation. They was going to operate on her and do all this stuff, you know. And uh, so uh, she asked us uh, Sunday morning and said, uh, I got to be operated. Uh, she done, we done been praying. But she said, I got to be operated Monday morning. So I want y'all to pray that God will heal this thing. And we all gathered around her, anointing with her with oil. And by the way, we were Christians and we had power. And she was a Christian. So we anointed her with oil. And uh, we said, you're not going to have to be operated on. And she went to go in the hospital. And they took uh, God her getting her ready and everything and checked it out one more time and they come back and said listen it ain't there we, is this the wrong person have you got the wrong person here what's going on let's look at these prints and she had the prints and said there it is and they looked at it and said there it ain't that's what happened y'all it was gone and she wasn't operated on and we give God the glory because of that power amen hallelujah it's power amen. hallelujah give God a a hand clap there. Sandra and them's in the Dominican. We're in the Dominican. I might have been with them. This lady had a big gourd, wasn't it, Sandra? And they prayed for that lady. And the praise God, that gourd got gone, didn't it? I remember one time me and Roy went in a, a, a bank down there. And uh, this lady come up to me and Roy and said, Listen, I'm married and I've been trying to get pregnant. I'd like to have a, a baby. And we prayed you get pregnant. And we come back a year later and she done had a baby. Hallelujah. Give God the hand clap. Hallelujah. He's a real true God. Hallelujah. You got to cry out to him. You got to call on him. Hallelujah. And use his word because there's power and strength in that word. Amen. Ever head bowed, please. I'm going to ask you an important question right now. Is there anybody in here that does not know Jesus Christ and you want to be saved? I want you to raise your hand right now. Anybody want to get saved? You're not saved, but say, hey, I, I want to be saved. I want to be a Christian. Anybody? Anybody want to rededicate your life? I'll give you the opportunity right now. <clears throat> Raise your hand. Okay? Every head bow. I want to talk to these people on the Internet. I pray you got a hold of this message and you want this power that we're talking about. You can have it if you just ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. You know, one of the things, uh, the scriptures, I forgot uh, seeing it there, but uh, the Bible says in 2 Timothy uh, 1, 7, 1, 9, somewhere around there, God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Hallelujah. If you need this power in your life and you want this power in your life, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you'll just cry out to God and say, God, save me. I'm sorry for my sins. I repent in the name of Jesus. And I ask uh, uh, you to come into my heart and be Lord of my life. And if you'll do that, God will do that. And you'll have this power we're talking about here as you grow uh, spiritually with the Lord. I pray that you prayed that prayer. And if you did, I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll cry out and say, uh, look in the right-hand corner uh, of that uh, web page you on. It says contact. I pray you'll contact lmcigreenville.org and say, Brother, Brother Rick, I, I received Jesus in my heart. You all over the world, you need him because he's a true living God. Beside him, there is no other God. I pray God will bless you for watching today. God be with you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Every head bowed. Ronnie, would you get a little... Uh, a song going every 